An investment of $7,500, which earns 6.4% per year, has continuously compounded interest. How fast will it be growing at year 7? So in order to do this question, we have to remember the formula for continuously compounded interest. And if you don't remember it, that's okay. We have y equals p times e to the power of rt. I'll quickly run through what each of these things represent. P stands for principal amount, which is an, a fancy way of saying the starting amount. E is the constant, which is approximately 2.71. R is our annual interest rate. And T represents our variable and it is the time in years. And so that's the thing that's changing. So let's go ahead and plug in the values that we have here. We have y equals, our starting amount is 7,500. We have e, which is our constant, which is approximately 2.71. And our interest rate is 6.4%. I'm gonna rewrite that as a decimal. And then we are multiplying that by t in years. So to figure out the rate of change, we take the derivative. So I'm going to take the derivative of that, and we have 7,500 times e to the 0.064t, and then we have to use chain rule by taking the derivative of the exponent, which is going to be 0 0.064. And now what we wanna do is we are calculating the rate of change specifically at year 7. So I am going to go ahead and plug in 7 into our derivative formula. And now I'm going to plug this into my calculator. So I have 0.064 times 7,500 times our E button, which is over here. Okay, so I'm gonna round that to the nearest dollar because uh, that's what it says in the answer box to the right. It says nearest dollar per year. So 751. So how fast will it be growing at year seven? It will be changing at a rate of 751. The units are already here for us, dollars per year.